Welcome to Euclid Academy. In this lesson, we're going to study the Pythagorean theorem, also known as the Pythagoras theorem. Now, the Pythagoras theorem is a relation among the three sides of a right angled triangle. It says that the area of a triangle whose side is hypotenuse. It should be equal to the sum of the areas of the two squares formed. Like in this case, the area of the square on the left, which is C squared, should be equal to the, area, the sum of the areas of A squared plus B squared. Which gives us an equation that C squared should be equal to A squared plus B squared. So this forms the equation of the Pythagorean theorem or the Pythagoras theorem which we're going to use. Imagine we have three points, point A, B, and C, and we're going to try to form a right angle triangle from these three points. We're going to connect A, B, and C, and the angle C is going to be 90 degrees represented by that symbol for it to be a right angle triangle and some angle theta at A. The side BC will be called the opposite represented by the letter B and the side AC will be called the adjacent represented by the letter A which leaves us with the side AB of this right angle triangle and the side AB will be called the hypotenuse represented by the letter C. Now, what makes the side A and B be the adjacent and the opposite is the position of our angle theta. We can see here that it's the adjacent, SC is adjacent because it's just adjacent to the angle theta, and BC is the opposite because it's directly opposite to the angle theta. Now, let us look at some numerical example to see how we can solve for any of the sides uh, given two sides we can solve for any single side. For example, if we've been given A and B, we can solve for C and been given C and A we can solve for B. Let's look at some example. If we have six centimeters for B and S eight centimeters for A C, what would be the value of the hypotenuse or A B? So we want to find the length A B given the length B C and A C. We we'll use the same Pythagorean theorem formula, which is c, squ c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. In this case, where a is equal to 8 and b is 6, we so square 8 and 6 is 8 times 8 and plus 6 times 6. So c squared will be equal to 64 from 8 times 8 plus 36 from 6 times 6. So c squared will be equal to 64 plus 36 which is 100. Now here we're going to square, find the square root of c squared and square root of 100 which gives us c is equals to the square root of 100 is 10 and square root of c squared is c so c is equals to 10 centimeters. Very simple and straightforward. I must say. Now what if we were given c and we don't know what BC is or maybe what AC is, how can you solve for any of these two sides? In this case, we're going to look at an example where we have AB as 10 centimeters and we have AC as 18 meters, but what we don't have in this case, let's say, is BC. We don't know what it is. Can we use the Pythagorean theorem to solve this? Of course we can. We write the formula again. This time we'll substitute C for 10 and 8 for A, but we are not going to substitute B because we don't know why it is. Which gives us 10 times 10 equals to A times 8 plus B squared. And in this case, we're going to solve for B to be subject to the formula, meaning our B squared will be equal to 100 minus 64. And B squared will be 36. And we we'll find the square root of B and the square root of 36, giving us B equals to six because the square root of thirty six is six. So B will be six centimeters. So 
given any two sides of a right angle triangle, you can figure out the third side by using the Pythagorean theorem equation. Now, the trick here is to figure out which side is the hypotenuse. If you can easily locate the hypotenuse, then you can easily solve any problem which involves the Pythagorean theorem. The trick here is not that the hypotenuse is directly opposite the right angle. So that is it for this lesson and hope to see you in the next lesson. For such beautiful math videos, please visit our YouTube channel, Euclid Academy, or like our Facebook page, Euclid Academy Zambia. And if you know one or two people can benefit from these videos, please do share it uh, with them. And we hope to see you in the next lesson. Sharing is kind.